My name is Bags McKelvey. I'm an artist who primarily is interested in using upcycled materials to create site-specific installations, as well as smaller sculptures and two-dimensional pieces. My first big project was with plastic bags, and so I started collecting plastic bags from recycling points and from my own shopping. The nickname Bags really got cemented at that point because that had become my primary vehicle for making installations. When I upcycle a piece, I take something that's in the waste stream, right? So something you may have thrown away, or maybe like in the case of denim, you know, maybe you have a favorite pair of jeans, but you've ripped a hole in a place where you just no longer can wear them, right? So that would be the materials that I would collect and then utilize in an artwork. Another material that I've used quite often is the toy cars. And I started collecting toy cars back in graduate school from flea markets. I do a lot of different things with them, including have them crawl up the wall. I use them sometimes in photography as well, taking them to outdoor spaces. After I moved to Chattanooga, one of the first pieces I did was at Ava with plastic bags that went around the window and then came to a singular point on a pony wall back in the gallery space. My second big installation in Chattanooga was actually at the Creative Discovery Museum, where I got to do a large site-specific installation utilizing that plastic stripping in two to three rooms in the downstairs area of the museum. A site-specific installation is installation that is created specifically for that site. So you have to consider the shape of the room, the volume of the room, the height of the walls, the material of the floor and the ceiling, and you have to really consider, okay, what is going to be in this space? How is it going to be something that the viewers can interact with? When I'm in a space and I'm making the piece, sometimes the room itself gives you a curveball, right? You didn't think about that vent or you didn't think about that camera or that fire alarm and you've got to shift, right? And so those moments when I have to shift are like a game, right? So it's like a puzzle piece. So just like a game you played when you were a kid or a game of tag, it's really not about that final outcome. It's more about the process. It's about the game of play or the game of making in this case. So as long as I keep that in the forefront of the way I create artwork, then it's always fun and enjoyable. With the denim, I'm literally cutting and tying and making rope and I'm putting those on the electrical spools. And then when I take it to the spot where I'm gonna install it, I have what looks like a wooden tape dispenser, if you will. And I put the big spool on that so that I can simply pull the denim and that just unwinds for me. So that makes it really nice and easy. And then I use a staple gun. So it's kind of brutal, <laughs> but I literally just staple the denim and walk it across the next area and staple it again. Car Jam, which is at the Creative Discovery Museum, was just a really fun piece for me to do. And I was invited to do that piece specific to that area. Being able to do an installation at the Creative Discovery Museum is just simply a joy for me. I've been chucking all these cars around for so many years and being able to make something that has that kind of resonance with so many different people and so many different generations of people, it's a wonderful thing for me. Motivation can be tricky, right? Sometimes when I'm not feeling motivated, the best thing I can do is just go grab a bunch of weird things that I've collected and just like start playing, like start figuring out, okay, this piece fits into this piece or this piece could be connected in this way. And then just by putting those things together, it allows me to become more creative. It allows me just to kind of move through that process. If you're thinking about being an artist and you really want to get involved with making, then my advice would be just to do it, right? You got to just do it. There's no failure in art, right? It's just a moment of learning and then taking what you've learned and taking that to create something new.